What's going on everybody, it's Sean here and in today's video I just want to give you guys a quick breakdown about the sizing of some of the Cause and the North Face collaboration items that I picked up that dropped earlier this week. So Cause and the North Face teamed up once again releasing their second capsule collection. So whereas the first collection was much brighter, it incorporated a wide array of different colors. In contrast, this second collection was strictly just black or cream. So obviously that makes this collection much more wearable and that's why I was much more interested in picking up items from this collection compared to the last one where I passed completely. And unfortunately I couldn't pick up everything that I wanted. I struck out on the Denali fleece jacket and I completely passed on all the heavyweight parkas, all the pants, all the mules and most of the accessories as well. But overall I'm pretty happy with the haul that I managed to get so let's dive right into it and start things off with the t-shirt. So the t-shirt which is the one that I'm wearing right now, this released in two colors, one in moonlight ivory and one in black and they both retailed for a price of 85 Canadian dollars or 65 US dollars. The tees are made in Guatemala and they're 100% cotton and in terms of fit I feel like they fit pretty true to size but slightly on the more roomy and baggier side. So for reference, I bought this in a size large, and for reference sake, I stand about 5 foot 11 inches tall, and I'm about 185 pounds, and I'd say that large is my normal size across most brands. So I say that this shirt fits me really, really well. I'd say that it's not too wide, it's not very boxy. I know a lot of streetwear t-shirts are made very, very wide and cropped a little bit shorter, but this one has a good balance. It's not too wide, it's not too narrow, and it also runs a little bit longer, which is good for my longer torso. And I thought the materials were pretty decent. It felt like a nice quality cotton, and it wasn't very thin or very see-through-y. So all in all, I was very happy with this one. Next up, the third item that I picked up was the long sleeve tee. So this was also 100% cotton and also made in Guatemala. And for the most part, the fit and the cut of this long sleeve tee is identical to the short sleeve tee. Obviously, of course, we have the long sleeves instead of the short sleeves. And if you're someone with shorter arms, you might not like the cut of this shirt. The sleeves do run a little bit on the longer side, but if you like more of that oversized baggier look, then this will fit you nicely. And the material quality was the same. The one thing I didn't love about this long sleeve tee was that the collar of the shirt was much wider and bigger than the t-shirt, which is something I wasn't too crazy about, especially when you compare it to the t-shirts, which I felt had that perfect diameter of the neck opening. Anyways, the long sleeve tee, that retailed for 100 Canadian dollars or 75 US dollars. The next item I purchased was the hoodie and I picked this up in the black color. This retailed for 200 Canadian dollars or 150 US dollars. And this was also made in Guatemala and this was constructed out of 76% cotton and 24% polyester, giving it a little bit of stretch and softness. And overall, when you compare this to the t-shirt and the long sleeve tee, the hoodie felt a lot more substantial. It was much thicker, obviously, this being a hoodie and the hood can stand up on its own. It doesn't just lie flat on your back. So I thought the quality was definitely there. And in terms of sizing, I feel like it fits pretty true to size, but in a perfect world, I would have liked the sleeves to be maybe an inch longer than they were. I prefer a little bit more slack from my sleeves. I don't like when it sits perfectly one-to-one -to, -one to the length of my arm. So I thought the width of the hoodie was perfect. The length was good as well. It's just the only minor issue I had was the length of the sleeves. Last but not least, the final item that I picked up in this collection was the 1986 Mountain Jacket. So this retailed for a steep 560 Canadian dollars or 425 US dollars. So I'm not going to go through all the bells and whistles of this jacket. This is already available online for you guys to check out. But in terms of the sizing, which is the purpose of this video, I felt like this jacket definitely ran pretty baggy. So again, I got this in a size large and if I wasn't clear, all the items that I picked up were a size large. And I felt like it ran a little bit wide, but luckily there's cords on the bottom which allows you to tighten up the overall width of the bottom of the jacket. But as you can see, the shoulders of the jacket, it's pretty large and it droops pretty low below my shoulders. And to add to that fact, the sleeves on this jacket are pretty long as well. So when you have this oversized fit with these long sleeves, it just makes the jacket feel really, really big, especially around the arms. The cuffs though are adjustable, so you can use Velcro to tighten it up. So that makes it look a little bit better in my opinion. But I feel like in a perfect world, if the shoulders were taken in maybe half an inch and the sleeves were taken in an inch as well, this would have fit me much, much better. So I'm kind of curious to see how a size medium would have fit me personally. I think the length of my jacket was perfect in size large. So I'm kind of skeptical because I think the medium might be a little bit too short for me. But if you like more of that oversized relaxed fit, then you can definitely stick with your normal true size. And I forgot to mention that this jacket is 100% polyester and it's made in China compared to the other pieces I picked up which were made in Guatemala. 
So quick summary, just to recap everything I've mentioned, the t-shirt and the long sleeve tee definitely are true to size in a slightly relaxed way. The hoodie is cut a little bit short and the sleeves are a little bit short as well, but the width is good and generally speaking, it is true to size, especially if you're someone who's a little bit shorter and you have shorter arms. And finally, the mountain jacket, it is quite oversized, but the length of the jacket is perfect. So if you don't mind more of a roomy and baggy fit along the arms, then stick with your normal true size as well. Otherwise, you can go down a size if you prefer more of a fitted look. So that wraps up everything I have to say about this cause and the North Face collection. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick up the Denali jacket and it just passed all together on the pants and all those bigger heavyweight jackets as well. But hopefully this video helped you for anyone that's potentially interested in picking up any of the items that I picked up. And drop a comment down below to let me know if you guys picked up anything from this collection or if you weren't feeling any of the pieces and you pass on them all together. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8 check out my Twitter at Sean.go and visit my website at SeanGo.ca. So until next time, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully it helped you in some way and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.